Hi guys, it's Kath. Uh, following on from the video I did the other day with the um, amber and I made the um, tortoise shell. Um, I've had a few comments on Facebook and stuff because people are struggling to get hold of this because um, it's quite a new colour. Um, so with the lockdown and stuff, I think it's a bit hard to get hold of. So what I thought I'd do is I'd just show you how to um, colour some translucent. I'm using Cernit Translucent and I've got a Ranger Alcohol Ink and it's the Honeycomb colour. So what I'm going to do, I've got some extra here that I've conditioned in case I put a little bit too much on. And I've got some alcohol, 90%. Uh, I'm just going to spray the, if there's any in, spray the surface. There's a little bit in, so I'll do that. I only do that first because I don't want it to be too dark. And I'm going to do one, two, three, four drops to see how we go. Uh, and I will put a finger cut on because I learned... I've learned my lesson um, about getting inky fingers. I'm just going to pop one of these on just to smoosh this around and spread the colour. I'm just keep I'm just moving it around with my finger getting it to dry because uh, obviously the alcohol um, comes off um, evaporates off should I say you don't want to be putting anything soggy through your um, through your machine I'll just pop that in the bin and it doesn't disrupt anything else um, yeah and we just need to let this um, dry off a bit so that was four drops um, on a, a probably a piece out of this block about this big um, just a small portion enough to make something with um, so I'm just going to let this air off and I'll pass it through my pasta machine uh, and get come back to you once I've got it all mixed in Okay guys, that was my first pass and as you can see, it's not quite orangey enough. So I'm going to put a little bit more on. Uh, I could do with some more alcohol in the spray bottle, but never mind. And I think this time I'm just going to do one, two, three drops. And then um, just give it a smush about... I'm hoping then this will be dark enough for what we need. Because um, it does change colour a bit once it's baked. That's it baked. That is that baked. Uh, so it just goes a little bit darker. Um, I'll let that dry off a bit again. And I'll um, pop back in a second once I've condition uh, put it through and mixed it in. Hi guys, I'm back now. There it is. And again, it's not as dark, so I'm going to do three drops again. Uh, I've no alcohol in my bottle, so I'll just have to uh, pretend that there's some on, but I don't like doing that because can you see how it leaves a dot where you drop it? If you put a little bit of alcohol on first, it doesn't do that. Um, not that it would matter with this, but if you're ever painting onto clay with it, just bear that in mind that that's what it does sometimes. I don't really want to add much more than this. Um, simply because it starts to dry the clay out, uh, the alcohol, and this Cernit Translucent is quite gummy, 
um, because it's quite a new batch I've got. Um, so I'll just mop those bits that I dropped on my table up. Waste not, want not. Uh, right, I'll pass this back through for the final time. And if it isn't quite as orangey, then so be it. I really don't want to put any more in because that was 10 drops on quite a small piece. Um, so I'll go and condition this and I'll be back. And there we go, guys. I'm not going to put any more on. Uh, it, it still isn't quite as orange yet. I could have maybe, um, maybe um, put a bit of a different orange in or a different yellow in. But I know that I've used that ink before when I've made resin amber. Um, so I quite like that colour. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to um, cut a little piece off and pop it in the oven just to check the colour when it's baked. Um, uh, so I'll pop back in a second and just show you. See you in a minute. Right guys, so I'm back. As you can see, oh look at all that placking. So only thing with translucent clay, um, you've really got to be careful. That was just cut straight from the block and look, no placking. But it's reasonably translucent. Um, let me find something to hold it up against. Can you see the black through there? Yeah. Uh, it's obviously thicker, so it does make a difference. But I quite like the colour. I think the tone's pretty good. So, that being said, I think that that with 10 drops came out as a really lovely colour. Because the only thing I'm miffed about is all that placking which there's nothing much you can do about it and you can you know you can stretch the clay and then put it through your pasta machine while you're conditioning and stretch but it's the look of the drawer I think sometimes I just end up with loads of placking in it anyway so I'm happy with the colour um, I've mixed some brown up not mixed, um, just reconditioned. Oh, it's stuck to my table. Uh, reconditioned some of that brown that I used in the other video, and I thought um, that I would make something with this. Um, I don't know what though. Um, I keep stretching it in the hopes that it gets rid of the placking. Um, but I'm not having much... Oh, that wasn't very bright, was it? Uh, so, yeah, I think I'm just going to make a quick bangle um, using the same technique as I used with the other one, putting the splodges on. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with that again. Uh, I'll film it, but I'll put it on speedy. Excuse me, I'll put it on speedy. Um, and then just show you the, the finished article at the end um, so you can see for yourselves um, so yeah I'll condition this a little bit more because it's been sat on my desk uh, and got a bit thick um, and I'll uh, hopefully get some of this placking out oh. uh, so yeah I'll just get my bits together and I'll film it but I'll um, speed that bit up because you can go back to the other video um, and if you haven't seen the other video for some reason I'll put a little link up here or something um, so yeah I'll do that and I'll see you in a minute hey guys right I'm gonna make a bangle um, I've got this bangle form um, I think I got mine from um, polymer clay UK and I think um, Tiny Pandora sells them as well. And that's just a simple cough. And you get the uh, template to cut around. Now I know for a fact that the template is a lot longer than I need. I'll just show you. So I've got plenty there. So I'm just going to trim off the excess. Like 
also trim the ends straight and then proceed to do me blobbing. Um, I'll just stick a little finger cut on. Just because it makes it easier. And I'm just going to, again, I've rolled me, I think, yeah, on a five, me chocolate colour. And I'm just gently pressing pieces on and smudging them a little bit. Um, and I'll, I'm going to speed up now so that you can... Um, So you're not sat watching me doing this because it is a bit boring. smooth out with my finger in the hopes that if there's any bits and bobs they come off um, and then I'm just going to pop this in the oven and we'll have a look at it when it's done hi guys it's cooked it's out the oven um, I'm really quite pleased with how it's turned out colour wise uh, it obviously needs um, shining and stuff, and to be fair, it is a bit flexible, but I did do it quite thin. Um, I could, I suppose, just put a, a translucent backing on just to thicken it up. I might do that, but I'm not. It was just so, to try and, you know, emulate the amber one. So if we put it next to the necklace, there's the necklace I made, obviously. Um, it's been um, varnished um, but colour wise I think they're pretty much the same uh, if anything I'd have maybe added um, a little less alcohol or chucked a bit more translucent in with it um, if you hold it up to the light it is quite translucent uh, it does look 
quite nice actually for what it is. Um, there's a hell of a lot of placking. Um, yeah, maybe it's just that batch of Cernit because um, it was quite squishy. I don't know. Answers on a postcard if you've got any um, other than my stretchy thing that I do. Uh, if you've got any answers for placking. Um, but yeah, I think it turned out okay. Like I say, I'm not going to varnish it or anything. Uh, I may, like I said, put a, a backing on it of translucent. Um, just to strengthen it up a bit because it is a little bit too thin. Uh, but it was, like I said, just a practice for the colour. Which I think looks okay. So yeah, there you go guys. You could... Um, make the amber one yourself with just some translucent clay and if you've got a load of the um, I think it's the primo one isn't it that can go quite orangey yellow when it's baked um, maybe um, use some of that up with it because um, it's going to have the tone already isn't it right guys I'll let you go thanks for watching see you later bye